when editing an image sometimes it does pay to set your white and black point so what you're doing is you're basically telling um, Photoshop what's black what's white in an image and you'll find that will quite often remove casts and really make your photo come to life so just say we've got this photo here of the 12 apostles and to find your black and white point and how to do it it's pretty simple come down grab your threshold and it's going to show you basically a basic histogram all the way to the left is going to show you a black so you just bring dial it back in until you start seeing areas of black click OK and what you want to do is you want to grab your color picker to color sampler tool so it's just here in your eyedropper and there you go so you come up and you just click and it'll come up with a point double click your threshold again drag all the way to the right and then bring it back in until you're just starting to see highlights so we just got them there click OK eyedropper tool click and just drag and delete it then what I do is I come in and I grab my curves and you got your curves dialog box here and on the bottom here you got these eyedroppers black gray and white so on white let's come over and pick our point boom there come over here and select our black so now you can see our adjustments and you can see the adjustments that have been made in each of the channels to remove that cast by setting your channels there or you're picking what's black and what's white so before after so it's done a color balance for us one photo that I had that this effect really made a huge difference was this photo here it was a sky shot taken out at Terrigal again threshold I'm going to do white first so just bring it down here so I can see bring it up and there's my white click OK select my point double click again all the way to the left so basically it's just showing rebate there so I'm not going to worry about that but what I want to see is where's my really is my blacks in this shot so it's going to be just down here click drag and delete come out with my curves just bring it over here do my black first do my white and there we go click OK and there's my shot that's before that's after and you can always dial it back if you find it's too strong with your opacity but that's how that's how dramatic your photo can change just by setting your black and white point in your photo using the curves and basically it's just making drastic changes and these are probably going to be changes that you probably wouldn't have known how to do yourself and as you can see what they are what they are doing is they're just bringing your curves to start there in your red the, the shadow start point for your red and the, the highlight point for your red as well is basically what what this is doing so it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty nifty sort of trick to not only sort of color balance your photo slightly but also to, to give it a little bit more drama and clean it up a bit and these two shots um, are film shots and they don't, it doesn't matter what medium you've shot it on film or digital it'll still have the same sort of effect so have a go see if it changes your images and it might be just something to keep in mind if you look at a photo and you really don't know where to start maybe maybe set your white and black point in it and see where it takes you